Hello, Bethlehem Baptist Church. This is Pastor Dean, and welcome to another Advent devotion. Today is Thursday, December the 14th, the 12th day of Advent, and our 12th Advent devotion as we journey together through the scriptures up to December the 24th. Today we continue the Christmas story in Luke chapter 2, verses 15 through 18, and in verse 20, and we see after the angels disappear, go back to heaven, we see what the shepherds do in their act of obedience. Notice verse 15. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child, and all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But notice verse 20, Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. Today, let's be reminded of the shepherds and their response to the announcement of the birth of Christ by the angels. For when our lives are divinely interrupted, as theirs were, a response is required. I find four responses in this passage of Scripture. First of all, I see a response of faith. Let us now go even into Bethlehem and see. Just as suddenly as the angelic host had filled the skies, the angels left the skies, retreating to the invisible realm of heaven, leaving the shepherds in the dark of night, but glowing inwardly in their hearts. Now they had a decision to make. Their lives had been interrupted. An announcement was made. Would they believe this announcement? Would they act on this announcement? On a spiritual level, your life is interrupted, your day is interrupted, you're inconvenienced, and you sense it's from the Lord. There is an opportunity to further the cause of Christ. There's an opportunity to better your spiritual life. There's an opportunity to grow and be molded further into the image of Christ, and you fail to respond. Where is your faith today? Do you believe that God can bring good out of evil? that God takes interruptions and turns them into blessings. What is your response today, faith or doubt? The shepherds decided to act on it and they had just received the greatest news mankind had ever heard and responded immediately to the announcement of the Savior. They left their flock to find the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a response, a response of faith, but I see also a response of urgency. They came with haste and found. They came with haste, they came quickly, they came speedily. They didn't linger. They didn't wait around for Jesus to come to them. They went to Jesus and Jesus promises us, if we seek, we will find. Draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. And they found Jesus. The word there implies found after a search. I never forget the day that I found the one I've been searching for my whole life. Though I didn't know I was searching for him, I try to find him in other things, in other entertainments, and other things I thought would fulfill me. But when I was introduced to Jesus Christ and I searched for him, I found him. And all oh, the joy, all oh, the joy of finding Jesus Christ and the joy of accepting him as Savior. There's a response of urgency. There's also a response of witness. And when they had seen it, they were so happy and joyful they couldn't contain themselves. And they told others about him. Wow. Think about the opportunities created here to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ just because the routine and life of the shepherds are interrupted. Sometimes God has to get us out of our comfort zones and out of our boxes to look at the world around us, to tell others about him in order to spread the gospel. It's all a question. Is our focus outward, getting souls saved or inward? What can my church do for me? But the witness produced wonder. A seed of the gospel was planted in the hearts of men we are to be sowing seed every day, telling others about them. And I find a final response here, a response of worship. It says, the angels, the, the, the shepherds, excuse me, the shepherds return, glorifying and praising God. A response of worship. They return not feeling inconvenienced by being interrupted in their routine, not being offended by the low state of Mary and Joseph, not shrinking back from acknowledging the child in the manger was indeed Christ the Lord, in fact, their faith was strengthened when they reflected on the fact they found everything to be exactly as they had been told by the angels. Instead of complaining, they ascribed glory and praise to God and they worshipped Him. What is your response when your life is interrupted? Application, today on this 12th day of Advent, 
Examine your heart in order to see if our response to the birth of Christ, to the Christmas story and of the gospel is worship. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope and trust you have a great day today. May the Lord bless you today.